Welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing awesome. I have some June favorites I want to share with you and three flops and a giveaway. So if you'll stay tuned kind of towards the middle to the end of my video, I will go ahead and let you know what's going on as far as the giveaway. I am getting shiny all up in here because it was 106 degrees here in Texas. I want to die. I am a winter baby for life. For life. Yes, that makes more sense. It's like peace, life. But anyways, before I get started, I want to touch on something very quickly. And the reason why I'm saying quickly is because I'm doing a whole other video on the subject of sponsored videos. Please, please, please. And I know it's not all of you all. But just because some of us beauty bloggers are sent stuff for review does not mean that we are getting paid to review a product. All my reviews, at least on my channel, are honest. And I'm just sent product. That is it. Period. Now that I got that out of the way, this is my first flop. And this is the Sigma Flat Top Kabuki F80. Not that I don't like this brush, you all, but if you follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, I have gone through three of these. Either the handle has fallen off and I've had to glue it back on several times. Three brushes I've gone through. That happened to one of them, the handle fell off, and the other two, this happened. Yes, you are seeing correctly. And I don't have any other problems with other Sigma brushes. For some reason, it's just been this one. And people have asked me, are you cleaning it properly? Are you being too harsh? No! I have MAC brushes that I've had for like life, that still have life. This not have life and Sigma's great they did send me brushes but this last time I just said you know what forget it if any of my other F top 80 whatever these are called falls apart I'm just gonna look for another company that has the same brush or similar but I'm sad because this is my favorite brush and I kind of tried to squeeze it back in there but oh god on to my second flop this is the l'oreal hydrofuge voluminous carbon black and it's waterproof and i am so disappointed in this i have used the waterproof voluminous voluminous carbon black for years even on clients i no longer use this on clients and it's waterproof but i cannot tell you how many times i don't even know if it's doing it again is there a mascara under my eye there goes my phone. Well, anyways, I don't see any under my eye right now. But this baby, move this in, smeared under my eyes. Like, I don't know how many times. Like, I, oh, it's just frustrating. Today, I've had to redo my under eye makeup a total of like three or four times. I don't know what's going on with this because I've used it for years. Years, years, years. And it's it's not working anymore I am no the last flop is the Rimmel Scandal Eyes Precision Precision Mike I can't freaking talk Precision Micro Eyeliner and this is supposed to be waterproof looks like this it's really great as far as like pigmentation look at how black that is really nice but you know what it glides on nice too it is not waterproof Right now I have on my NYC liquid liner and that stays hell of a lot better than this. This smears to no end. I don't like it. I love Rimmel, but this I don't like at all. It's just not good. On to my favorites, which is the best part of every beauty blogger's videos. Yes, that's what I at least wait to see when I'm watching somebody's favorites video. The first thing I'm gonna talk about, which I showed in my top favorite highlighters video. If you have not checked it out, you need to. This is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in the color Opal. And it looks like this. And this is amazeballs to Gosh, I can't even, I don't even know if this is focusing. My camera is being so whack today. There we go. This is the top, what it looks like. The bottle, this stuff is amazing. It is a liquid highlighter. It's beautiful. It has a pump, which is awesome to me because that means sanitary. It's just, oh, look at that. 
That is beautimous. Beautimous. I love it. It is my favorite liquid highlighter right now. I'm totally obsessed. Then for other highlighters, I pulled these babies out. They are not just eyeshadows. This was also in my top highlighters video. This is the L'Oreal Infallible. These are their pressed eyeshadows in Ice Latte and Eternal Sunshine. I am not going to swatch these babies right now. I'll have all info in the box below. You can watch my top highlighters video if you want to because I do swatch them in that one. But I love these. They're just like the best ever. You can use them for eyeshadows. I use them to highlight. Just really, really good. MAC Press Pigment in Blonde Streak. This is just gorgeous. I mean, oh my gosh. It looks so good on the eyes. Let me zoom in. I don't know if you can see the sparkle on my eye, if it'll focus. Do you see how pretty that is? Is that my mascara? Holy crap, it probably is. But anyways, it gives such a pretty sparkle on the eyes. And when you use these, a lot of people say they suck, they don't like how they perform. You need to use your fingers. That's the best way to apply it. And trust me, you will love it because it just gives such a pretty glitter on your eyes. Like, it's just so awesome. I hate showing this because this was limited edition and I looked on Nars's website to see if the highlighting blush was on there, if it was permanent, and it's not. But I have to show it. If you can still get your hands on it, I highly recommend it. This is the Nars Guy Bourdin, or Guy Bourdin, I don't know how to say it, palette. And it has some blushes and a contour, but the one that I really love is this one. It's called Alabaster Glow, and it is such a pretty highlighting blush. I've been using it all month, literally. I'm gonna swatch it on the back of my hand. Oh, I don't know if you can see that. Really, really gorgeous, look at that. And I am wearing that today with my opal. I put the opal skin perfecter and then I put the alabaster glow like right on top. And it is just, oh my gosh, it is just awesome. Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette. I am so in love with this. And the good thing is it is finally permanent at Sephora. You all have to try this out. Now these are not setting powders, they are finishing powders and they do what they say they are supposed to do. Help to minimize fine lines, setting underneath the eye, your concealer. <sighs> this palette is, oh, it's just gorgeous and it gives you a gorgeous glow without making you look like a grease ball face. It is just that good. If you can get your hands on it, get it. It is worth it. I highly recommend it. If I can find some dupes for this or that video, I will and I will do that video, but so far nothing compares to this. I haven't even touched my, um, what is it, my NARS powder, the their illuminating powder. I can't even think right now. My brain is like, mommy fried today. <laughs> it's like totally fried, but get your hands on this. It's awesome. Another favorite this month. I love this. I have had this now since 2011, 12, 13, for three years. That is how good this is. If you can afford to spend the money on it, do it. This is the Michael Kors wallet. This is his signature logo. I've had this for three years. Now granted, I do take very good care of my purses, my wallets, and it's a zipper wallet, which is nice. It holds everything nicely. This is just awesome. I don't just use it with my Michael Kors purse. I use it with every purse, even if it doesn't match because I'm just like, this is my baby. This is my baby. And it is so awesome. So I love this. I love it. Absolute favorite foundation because it is hot as hell here in Texas. <laughs> is Estee Lauder Double Wear. My camera is about to die, you guys, literally. So I'm gonna stop it right there. That is my last favorite. Okay, giveaway is a $25 gift card to Sephora. And all you have to do is be a subscriber. Comment down below. Um, Open International, that is it. My camera is flashing red, like I kid you not. But thank you guys so much for watching. Favorite song is Say what you wanna say And let the words fall out Thank you guys so much for watching. I know that kind of sucked me singing, but thank you guys so much and I will see you on the next video. Be 18 years of age or older.
be a subscriber, comment, and you could win a $25 gift card. I'll put all the info below and when it ends. Thank you guys. Bye.